Hi, Dansky here with another quick lesson. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I think is the most effective way to organize and group layers together in Photoshop. Okay, so I've got my PSD file here. You may have yours and it's a complete mess, hopefully. Okay, so you can go through and name the layers as well as the folders. That is generally best practice. Um, because it just helps keep everything tidy, more organized. And if you are working with other designers or you're handing over final PSD work, it's usually best practice to have it nice and tidy so someone else can pick up your file and work with it and it's not a complete mess and they can't understand anything. So it's generally a good thing to do. Um, I like to go through and do my layering usually at the end because as you're working with a client, your focus may be getting the most creative and the best result that they're looking for. So they're not going to see the layers throughout the creative process. So get exactly what they want first, and then when you're getting ready to hand over the work, go through and layer it up. That's just how I like to work, and I know everyone's different, but that's entirely up to you. Okay? So, like I said, I've got my PSD. It's an absolute mess. So what I'm going to do is group this into different sections. So the first thing I like to do is just go through and check that there aren't any locked layers because when we're selecting elements in a moment it's not going to catch them if they're locked so we just want to make sure they're all unlocked apart from the background that's absolutely fine as it is another good thing to do is just check that you haven't got any colors so some people select colors for different bits and if your file is a real mess there will be color all over the place so let's just go through i've not got any here but if you go through and just select no color there, it will just take all the color out of your layers and I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this now. You can either left click and drag. So you see there, I've selected what I want. Just click the undo button. If I do that to the top section, you'll notice that it catches this image here because this image has a mask over it and actually extends outside of what you're seeing. So that can be a bit fiddly. But one way you can get around this is just left click on the logo and then I'm going to hold shift and left click on the social icons and just select everything individually. So there you go. I've got that selected now. With that selected, I can go to layer and down to group layers. And if I click that, You'll see here, it's now grouped, and I can just call this header. I can flick it on and off, just to make sure I've uh, collected the right layers within that group. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it the color green, and then lock that layer. And you can turn it off, or you can leave it on, but you know that that is now completed. And that's why we mark this with the color as well, and have everything else with no color, just so we can create a distinction between what's finished and what still needs to be organized. So now we can do the this main hero graphic. Let's just make sure we've got that selected. And again, we're gonna to go to layer, group layers. Okay, and now we want to move this one up to the top. So let's just call this hero graphic for the time being. We'll color it green. And we just want to move this to the top. So you can go to layer, arrange, and then you've got bring to front. And that will take it right to the top. And then you've also got send to the back and you can bring them forward and backwards by one. So if I click this, you'll see it moves above this layer here. And you'll also notice that you've got the shortcut keys. They're really handy. So I'm gonna use those just to bring that one to the top and then bring it down one. And then I can lock that layer and just flick it off and on. Okay, so what's happened here, I've now moved this hero graphic above everything, but I've caught some white in here. So I'm gonna unlock this. I'm gonna left click on this white. As you can see, I've captured this within a group and brought it to the top. So now it's actually covering everything. So now I can flick that off. Okay, I don't need that layer anymore. That was obviously there for one reason or another. It looks like it might have been the footer actually. So I can probably bring this down. And if I just send it to the back and keep bringing it up, there we go. So it's obviously this bit of text here on the left that we don't want. So by bringing that 
white layer to the bottom and moving it up and up and up continuously, I can identify that this is something that's been left in the file that we don't actually need. So I can delete that text. And then we don't need this white because the background's white anyway. So that's quite a good way actually of uh, organizing files and sometimes you will get a few oddities and sometimes it's always quite good as well when you get a file uh, or when you finished a file and you have any layers that are still switched off to actually delete them because you know then once you've grouped everything and you're finished if there's anything left over that doesn't have a group then perhaps it shouldn't actually be in the file and you can get rid of it but anyway back to where we were so we've now got the header section and we can again lock the hero graphic now we're going to do this third section here as you can see again, this image obviously extends outside of the mask that it's in, so I'm capturing it when I'm selecting it. So what I'm going to do is just select this top part. Can I get these icons in the selection? Yes, I can. Brilliant. Let's see if I can do that again and just get these in as well. Brilliant, fantastic. So then I can just left click these last few elements and holding shift while I'm clicking them Brilliant, there we go. So we've got that connect section now. So again, we can go to layer, group layers, bring that to the top and just drop it down underneath hero graphic. We're gonna call that connect everything. Your layer names will obviously be different depending on what file you're working with. And that one's now good to go. Now we've got the help section, same again, layer, group, help. We're going to make that green, bring it to the top and drop it just under the connect everything section. Turn it off, turn it on, check that's correct. And then we've just got the footer left. Nice and easy because that's all that's left now. We can go to layer, group, we'll call that footer and just lock it. Okay. And then we can go through and just flick them on and off to check that we've got everything in the right folder and we can see now that we've got this button red copy i don't know what that is that's probably something left over but because it doesn't have a place we can simply delete it from the file and you can put the background into a folder if you like as well that's entirely up to you okay well i hope that lesson was helpful um, if you've got any questions or comments please feel free to let me know below and i'll see you in my next video